health authorities confirmed another 12 new cases of COVID-19, five of which are related to the Santa Venera feast last Sunday, and another two to the takeover party in St. Julian's a week and a half ago. Another five cases were sporadic. The cases were confirmed from 1,614 swap tests certified today. One of the last cases confirmed was registered from a central bank employee. The central bank later stated that all employees from the department of the positive case were sent to work from home and the place was disinfected. The figures released today don't include the 66 positive cases from migrants arriving in Malta last Monday. They were in a group of 94 migrants. All migrants arriving in Malta spanned 14 days in quarantine and tested for COVID. Meanwhile, the Medical Association is asking for mass activities of more than 10 people not to be allowed and for health facilities to go back to a national health emergency as they were between March and June. The association has announced that it has given directives to its members who are vulnerable to only do administrative work or else work from home and for its other members to help with their work so that the patients can receive the treatment they need. It also warned, however, that if the situation doesn't change by next Monday, it will be giving directives to its members to only carry out emergency work. Minister for Foreign Affairs Evarist Bartolo has testified in the public inquiry into the murder of Daphne Caruana Galizia, during which he stated that the former chief of staff in the Prime Minister's office, Keith Schembri, had too much power over the government. During a two-hour-long session, former Chief Justice Joseph Said Pulicino and Mrs. Justice Abigail Lofaro stated that it would be a good thing if all members who had been part of the cabinet when the crime was committed were to be called before the public inquiry in order to establish a clear picture of the government's operation at the time and whether it could have contributed to the journalists' murder. The Western Dragonara Hotel in St. Julian's has just completed a program of renovation and facilities upgrading works through an investment of 40 million euro. Prime Minister Roberta Bella and Minister for Tourism Giulia Farugia Portelli toured the hotel and heard explanations of the renovation works in various parts of the hotel. The renovation concept was done by Lynn Hunt, a main designer based in London. Hunt based the designs on colors that reflect that which is typically Maltese, the color of limestone and the blueness of the Mediterranean Sea.